Charter Local Edition. My name is Brad Palmer. It's in the Long Beach area today, and we are joined by Lynn Etkins. She is with the Legal Aid Foundation of Los Angeles. As our viewers know, I, I guess I'm always a lawyer, even though I'm inactive. I don't lose that status, and so I'm familiar with your organization. But why don't you explain to our viewers, what is the Legal Aid Foundation of LA? Sure. We are a private nonprofit organization, and we describe ourselves as the frontline law firm for low-income uh, people in our community who can't afford to hire a lawyer. So we do everything but criminal law, so we okay. don't help with criminal law. And that's unique and, and important to point out. Yes, yes. Because there are public defenders yes. that would handle those types of matters, but are there also foundations, nonprofits, that would act as pro bono counsel for a criminal defendant? There could um, be? Yeah, there could be, but it's right. primarily the public Got defender's it. office. So we are a, a 501c3, mm -hmm. and we help people with um, items such as um, unlawful evictions, uh, public housing, public benefits, um, immigration matters, domestic violence, um, trafficking, uh, unlawful, uh, oh. uh, unlawful sex trafficking, sure. um, and uh, help people who really have nowhere else to turn. Um, the means not to be able to right. hire someone or talk to someone. And we are throughout the Los Angeles area. We've got five offices. Um, Where? We've got offices in uh, uh, just outside Koreatown. Got we've it. got offices in East LA, South LA, uh, Santa Monica, and Long Beach. Where we are today. Yes. Um, when I was a lawyer many years ago, I'm pretty sure I got a case from the Legal Aid Foundation. I think that was the referrer. And I'm proud to say that we were successful. And it was a case, God, it's been so long, but I actually remember giving the individual the check. And oh. it was really quite gratifying. It, it had been, there had been a fire, and I guess there was a dispute about who was the beneficiary of a policy. And um, I was a junior lawyer, and so it was great for me to get that experience. I'd been at a large law firm. And it was pro bono, like you said, which means we did not charge right, that individual. Right, we right. didn't take a cut right. uh, of that right. um, award. And uh, the look in their eyes was, was really amongst the most gratifying moments really in my life. I mean, I'm not kidding, you know, because it, it's life-changing for them. It is. It's, it's very life-changing for them, and right. you hit the nail on the head. I mean, um, these folks um, often are uneducated. Right. Um, they are low-income. They don't have the resources. They don't know lawyers, so and they don't kind of know someone to go to. And this individual was Spanish dominant, so mm -hmm. it made it even more challenging for him because while in Los Angeles legal system does provide access for all many languages it's still no it's very difficult right. it's difficult for for anybody who speaks english fluently right. That's exactly you know, right. to kind of understand the legal jargon right. and get through it and then if you add the other layer of of not having english as your first language right. that makes it even more challenging but having a lawyer come step in um, for you in a time when you are at your worst and and somebody was probably right. had they not had a lawyer they wouldn't be able no, to kind of move it. on right. they wouldn't be able to get a new apartment or right. a new house or whatever it is and they really would be on the verge of, of kind of losing everything. So a lot of our clients um, are working, some are not working, but they're, they're in a precarious situation and having a lawyer step in is, is critical. And how do your clients get to you? Oh, they find us. They <laughs> right, know. do they? They know. They know. They find us. I mean, we're we're all of, we've been in the community um, okay. since 1929. Right. So we are well known. Um, referrals. The courts will send them. We have self help centers. Because we need to remember, it's the Sixth Amendment that guarantees counsel, but that's for criminal matters. Exactly. And exactly. So not no, in civil matters. Not so, in civil matters. So it really is up to nonprofits to right. kind of to fill the gap, and it obviously helps the court system, right? So if you you know just imagine going to court without a lawyer and being up against a lawyer, someone with a lawyer, oh. that's scary. Scary, right so we really try to level the playing field on a lot of these um, issues you know if somebody's being unlawfully evicted you know right. we will step in and assist them now how do you decide what cases to take well we screen case we screen right. cases we you know interview clients we look at the merits of the situation of course. Um, and we you know you do your best you do, do your you best. have a specialty meaning the organization, because I assume there are other nonprofits in which you are friends. Betsetic, I know, is one. Sure. And so, do they specialize in one? You specialize in another? Sure. Um, like I said, yeah. I think a lot of the the uh, more um, uh, uh, public benefits, right. um, uh, like I said, public benefits, I got it. housing, um, and in Long Beach, we actually partner with the Children's Clinic, and we have a medical oh, wow. legal partnership, which is really important, and that's kind of a new trend that's happening. So you have a lot of times folks who will go to the emergency room. 
and they might be victims of domestic violence, Oof. they might be suffering child abuse, right. and there's a legal component there. Of course. And so what's great about this partnership is that when someone goes to seek some medical attention, we can also do some legal screening to see if they have legal needs. Um, and so oftentimes we will see people, as I said, with domestic violence, uh, unfortunately that's oftentimes what folks go, and then we're able to assist them with their family law matter. People go to law school to do what you're describing. Yeah. I wish I had that opportunity. I yeah. was more at a private law firm and then I was at a yeah. studio. Yeah. But uh, it must be incredibly gratifying. The good news is, is that if anyone who's watching wants to help the Legal Aid Foundation, especially if they live within the purview of Long Beach, or really anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere in L.A. Yes, County. But there's a, a significant event coming up. Yes. It's called the Grand Crew. I've discussed it before on our program. Tell us about the Grand Crew event. Sure. The Grand Crew is one of our fundraising events, and the proceeds do go fund the, right. the medical legal partnership, which I described oh, with the Children's Legal Center. Yes, it is directed to that. So, so the funds um, really primarily will stay in Long Beach. Again, part of the Legal Aid Foundation of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a wine tasting event restaurant there's going to be food there's going to be incredible wine we've got some breweries there's entertainment it's a great way to support the organization come out with your friends um, be able to just have a great time being outside sample some great wines um, have some great food from the restaurants and we've been doing it for 22 years okay. so um, so tell us more about this clinic then since you are looking to benefit this mm -hmm. specific organization mm -hmm. give me a better sense of what they do who they are so it, it's as I said it's a med it's called a medical legal partnership okay. and and oftentimes um what we find is people don't know that they have legal needs, oh, right? Yes. It's very difficult to, to talk to someone who doesn't know about the legal world and go, well, do you have a legal problem? Well, people don't know that they have a legal problem. They just know they have a problem. So um, oftentimes when folks do, as I said, go to the hospital, the emergency room, mm -hmm. there's something going on oftentimes, not all the time, but oftentimes. And so we're able to do a screening and you're able to have an advocate there who can kind of do what we call like a legal checkup. Mm. And they can kind of ask, well they ask some questions and then we can assess oh, they may actually have a legal need and it's something that we might be able to help them with. And if there's a criminal element, you can make a reference, I presume. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, right. yes. So you're absolutely. part of the legal family, I guess you sure, could say. Sure, all, all of us make referrals to each other. So if there is any criminal reference, mm -hmm. we could refer something to the city attorney or the district attorney. Um, and if there is any uh, other civil right. matter or you know, there's uh, some a few areas of law right. that we don't handle, we can send to another partner agency. And so be, uh, given that you're a nonprofit mm -hmm. and given that you don't charge your clients, mm -hmm. these types of events are pivotal. I mean, oh, you, absolutely. You need to have a we successful... We need people to come and right. have a great time. It helps us with our um, fundraising and our operating expenses. Right. So um, we How have a... How many attorneys on staff? Well, we have... Or, um, Functioning attorneys on yeah, staff? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. We, have, we have a staff of about 163 and about 60 three of them are attorneys. Okay. These are, we, we're right. the largest working organization, working yeah. lawyers, and we represent, what we do all day is represent the low income folks who do not have a place to turn. How can we either attend Grand Crew or just generally get involved in the Legal Aid Foundation, whether we're a lawyer or not? Because I presume that you have needs beyond lawyers who can offer pro bono services. Absolutely. Well, the first thing, you can go to our website, www.lafla.org. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, that's got all the information about our organization. It's got um, a, a list of ways you can support us. Yes, if you're a lawyer out there, we absolutely could use you to assist mm -hmm. us with pro bono work. Um, we have law students who come in every right. summer. We have I over, did that. We have I over 40 law students yeah. this summer coming from all across the country. I did an appeal. I went to law school back east, but I didn't have uh, an appeal on a pro bono basis, and we won. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's a great yeah. experience. Again, boots on the ground, right. talking to clients, seeing the need, and being able to really change somebody's life. And so that's the benefit that we see. Um, so folks can donate, they can support, they can volunteer at an event. We've got a couple events. We've got a, a, an access to justice dinner in the fall. People can I've volunteer been. at that. 20 We've years been, ago. There you go. We've got to get, get you this year. Her name is Lynn Etkin. She is with the Legal Aid Foundation of Los Angeles. Again, the Grand Crew event is coming up on July 23rd. My name is Brad Pomerantz. It's Charter Local Edition.